Several people have been asking about the oil washes I use to add realism to my cars. So I decided to do a video on how I achieved that look. There are several options available when it comes to washes. You can buy pre-made washes, like the ones I'm showing you now. I bought all these online for a couple bucks a piece. Some are more expensive than others. Or the other option is to make your own wash, which I'm going to show you how to do in this video. The first thing you'll need is oil paint. I'm going to use this oil paint set I bought from Walmart, since most everyone has a Walmart nearby. I think the whole set was $14, which is super cheap. I've spent at least that much on just one small tube of oil paint at some other stores. Anyway, the only color you'll need is black. However, the dark brown makes a good sepia wash, so keep that in mind. I also purchased this low odor oil paint thinner for 7 bucks. You can also use low odor mineral spirits if you like. By the way, this is called white spirits for those of you in the UK. The process is simple. Take the uh, tube of oil paint you want to make the wash from and squeeze a quarter size amount of it in a small mixing container. Then add a very small amount of thinner to the paint and start mixing. The consistency is up to you and what you plan to use the wash on. If you have something with a lot of detail, say a lot of panel lines, then make the mix really thin. The panel lines will soak it up via capillary action. However, if you're using it on a flat surface, then you may want it to be the consistency of milk. Either way of practice, you'll figure out how much you want it thin for whatever application you're going to use it on. Once everything is mixed up, all you'll need is a brush and the item you wish to do the wash on. I'm going to do it on the Star Trek Micro Machines because they should really show the effect given they have a real high detail, but are for the most part monotone. I will do some Hot Wheels at the end of the video. Okay, let's get started. Dip the brush into the wash, and then begin to apply it liberally all over the area you want to wash. In this case, I want to wash the whole thing, but on Hot Wheels, I usually only wash the engine. Don't attempt to be neat or clean with it. You can remove it or add more later if you like. The wash will be taken up by the details of the item you're washing. It will accumulate in the recesses. Once it dries, the recesses will take on a darker shade. This is more realistic, as items in real life have shadows in the recesses. On the first model, I'm using my homemade wash. On the second model, I'm using a wash I purchased online. This one is water-based. The homemade wash is hydrocarbon-based mineral spirits. You'll notice on this model the wash will beat up on the surface. This is not a major problem, however you'll need to remove any of the water beads before letting it dry. I wanted to show the high quality wash to compare to the homemade one. You'll see later for the most part they give the same results, however I will say that the high end wash will dry black. My cheap homemade wash dries a real dark gray. If I had purchased a high-end oil paint, this would probably not have been the case. These are all things to keep in mind if you are attempting to try this at home. Once the item is dry, you can now clean up your wash. This is done by using a Q-tip and dipping it in the thinner you use to make the wash. Or if you're using a water-based wash, then dip the Q-tip in water. Dry the Q-tip on a paper towel and try to get about 95% of the liquid out. Then start going over the item you washed. The wash adds a dark tone to the item you wash. By cleaning some of it off, we get back to the original color of the model. This original color will make up the highlights in the places you remove 100% of the wash and mid-tones in the areas you remove about 50% of the wash. Try not to remove any of the wash from the crevices and panel lines. If you remove too much, rewash the area and try again. You really can't mess this up. When done, let the model dry and then clear coat it with matte or gloss clear coat. The clear coat is a must because the wash will not set without the clear coat. Okay, let's do some before and after shots. Here's the ship before the wash. And here it is after using the high-end wash. This is a pretty dramatic change. If I wanted to add even more realism and detail, I would go now and add more highlights and other colors. Here's the first ship done with the homemade wash. Sorry I lost the original before video, but you get the idea. Pretty much the same as the first ship. Now, let's go look at some Hot Wheels. First up is the Micromite. A lot of engine to work with here. 
You'll notice that the effect is more subtle here compared to the ships. I forget the name of this car, but I use it because it also had a lot of engine to work with, and it makes it easy to show up on camera. Last is this gasser. Here the effect is very subtle, as the engine is much smaller. Well, I hope this helps out. Please rate and subscribe, and thanks for watching. See you guys next time.